In the West African Kingdom of Dahomey in 1823, General Naniska, leader of the all-female group of warriors, the Agoji, liberates Dahomeyan women who were abducted by slavers from the Oyo Empire. Provoked by the slavers' actions, King Gizo of Dahomey prepares for an all-out war with the Oyo. When they come for the tribute, we will not pay it. General Naniska begins to train a new generation of warriors to join the Agoji to protect the kingdom. Among these warriors is Nawi, a strong-willed girl who was offered by her father to the king after refusing to marry men who would beat her. Nawi befriends Izagi, a veteran Agoji who We need smart warriors. The dumb ones die quickly. Portuguese slave traders led by Santo Ferreira and accompanied by the half Dahomeyan Malik arrive as part of an alliance with the Oyo, led by General Oba Ade. Nawi encounters Malik while the latter is bathing, and the two become friends. Shortly after graduating from training to become a full-fledged Agoji, Nawi sneaks off to speak with Malik and learns that the Oyo are planning to attack. She reports this to Naniska, who tells her off for her recklessness. Naniska reveals that in her youth, she was captured by Oba, raped, and impregnated. After giving birth to a daughter, Naniska embedded a shark tooth in her left shoulder before giving her away. Naniska helps Nawi extract the tooth, confirming that she is her biological daughter. Naniska leads the Agoji in an attack on the Oyo. The attack is successful but Oba escapes and Nawi and Izagi are captured. One of the captured Agoji slips away and reports the other's fate to Naniska. Gizo prepares to bestow the title of woman king, his partner and equal in ruling Dahomey, upon Naniska, but refuses to authorize a rescue mission for the captive Agoji. Meanwhile, Izagi is killed in an escape attempt and Malik buys Nawi to protect her. Naniska defies orders and sets out with a group of like-minded warriors to rescue the captives. I want Oba. The chaos allows Nawi to escape and rejoin Naniska. Malik frees several other slaves who drown Ferreira, and Naniska kills Oba in single combat. The triumphant Agoji returned to Dahomey where Gizo privately and briefly admonishes Naniska for disobeying him, before crowning her the woman king. Behold, the bravest of the brave, appointed by King Gezo, elevated to the sacred title of Pochito, Naniska, the woman king. <laughs>